Welcome to Frugal It Out, this week's episode, decorating the hutch for Valentine's Day. We got all these items from the Target dollar area and sticking to our rules we try to do with our dollar makeover hutch fiascos. <laughs> That's negative. Wonderful things that we do with designing on the hutch. Uh, the rules are everything is five dollars or under except for one key item and that one key item was this cute wreath that you see here. You will see more of that later from Target. I believe it was twenty dollars. So rush out to your Target, see what you can find in the dollar section that's still left and you can decorate a cute little area in your house for Valentine's Day. Hope you enjoy this short little video. Oh my gosh, you guys, all of this cute adorable stuff. We're going Valentine's for the hutch. Um, how adorable is this one's cuddle? I mean, come. We thought we were going with this theme, which is so cute, the pinks. But then we fell in love with oh, this. Look at all that. I, know. I mean, this garland is adorable. It's the X's and O's. <laughs> okay. Well, we accidentally exploded Valentine's and it turned into something way different. Where are we at? Okay. So we started. Uh, yes. Up here somewhere. We started with these, and then it turned into green and sprays, and it was just an accident. And I don't know how this happens, but every single time we get ready to start decorating for the hutch, it turns into a massive time crunch. We have a broken arm yeah. appointment, right? Yes, my son broke his arm, so he has to go back to the ortho to get it re um, x rayed. So, so yeah, anyways, we just that. kind of freaked out because there wasn't much left and there were a lot of people over there and we don't have enough time to make up our minds what we want. So we got pretty much everything. Everything. But we hopefully we'll return more than half of it. <laughs> Let's play the game. How much is this going to cost? What do you mm. think? I'm going to say 98. I'm going to say my first guy was over 100. Can I just be over 100? Sure, yeah. Okay. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Oh my nose! <laughs> I think I win. I think you win. I was like, <laughs> maybe 200. I don't think it'd be 200. <gasps> don't, and keep in mind, we're taking this back for sure. Yeah. We just need to have We just needed a, a lot of options. So hopefully this will get frugal. <laughs> <laughs> I am so incredibly excited about the door. Yep. If you look closely, 162 <laughs> was what we ended up spending. But I'm pleased to report after decorating this hutch and also the piano, we returned enough items that both were under $100. So Still, eh, well, you know, justifying $50 each for cute little areas that are decorated. I'd say that's a win. That's pretty frugal. Unfortunately, decorations are just so expensive unless you make them yourself, which we do that too. Which is exactly why we posted two videos this time. A frugal one, not this one. This is the not so frugal one. And the one where Carissa shows you how to make your own holiday Valentine's Day decorations from the dollar store. So if you're super frugal, watch that one. If you're less frugal and you don't have enough time to make things, this one's for you. As you can tell, it takes us a ridiculously long time to figure out where we wanna put things. <laughs> this one was especially hard because we had two different themes going on. So there's a version one and a version two. So, which one do you like better? Comment below and give a shout out to version one or version two as your favorite and we'll see which one wins. We decided to go with version number two on the hutch, but version number one was so cute that we sort of morphed it onto the piano. And that pom-pom thing that you see, we decided to cut that up. We found a stick that I had found in my yard and turned it into this. Keep watching. I 
Thank you for watching another quick episode of Frugal It Out Valentine's Day. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up, like, feel free to comment below. We will get back to you. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when we release new videos. It'll give you a little ding so you can head on over to YouTube and watch our latest video. Hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next Monday with something new. Bye.